Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is our Saturday sit down and chat. So I am here on a Saturday to chat with you. Um, and today's topic is St. Patrick's Day. Um, as a lot of you who I'm sure work in offices and stuff like that, uh, my office yesterday did dress in green for St. Patrick's Day. And I chose not to do that um, because I am neither Irish nor Catholic. So I don't celebrate St. Patty's Day. I also don't drink, um, which I don't really understand the point of the drinking on St. Patrick's Day if you understand the history of St. Patrick's Day. But then I understand that a lot of people don't actually know the history of St. Patrick's Day. They just know wear green stuff and get wicked drunk. Um, which is fine, and I'm not here to give you a history lesson. If you want the history of St. Patrick's Day, it's on the internet. Google it. It's not my job to give you a history lesson on that. Um, what struck me as weird, and it was actually a weird conversation I had with a girl at work yesterday, was when asked why I didn't don my green attire, because uh, I wore purple yesterday, I got, I told her, I was like, I'm neither Irish nor Catholic, so I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And I was told that was stupid. Um, I also let her know that I don't celebrate Yom Kippur, Kwanzaa, Ramadan. These are not groups I'm part of, so I don't celebrate those holidays. I don't even really celebrate Catholic holidays like Easter and Christmas and things like that. Um, around here, if we want to give a gift, we'll just do it. I mean, we do gifts at Christmas, I think, more out of obligation because we feel we have to um, than anything else. More, I think, honestly, to be fair... So that when people go, hey, what did your significant other get you for Christmas? You're not like, nothing, we don't do that. Because you don't want to be a dick, right? So it doesn't take away anything from anyone else for me not to celebrate a holiday because I'm not part of that group. Um, I'm sure the folks who celebrate, you know, Ramadan don't get pissed off that I don't take part because I don't know the history of it and I don't, I'm not in that group, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so I didn't wear green, but you tend to get a lot of ugh, nastiness for not participating or being a jerk face or whatever it is, because somehow people take it as an offensive thing when you point out you don't celebrate because you're not part of that group and they're going, oh shit, I'm not really part of that group either. Why the fuck am I doing? Then they have to start self-realizing and that kind of bothers a lot of people because not a lot of people really enjoy doing that and that's totally fine. If you want to get drunk on St. Patrick's Day and wear green, whatever, go ahead, do it. I don't care. Um, but you're grown-ass adults. You don't need a special day to go get drunk. Um, if you want to dye your beer green, you can do that on any given Tuesday. You don't need to wait for St. Patrick's Day for that. Um, I don't really know why that's what we do to celebrate St. Patrick's Day once I looked into the history of it. Um, but I decided to not take part, um, and it struck me as very weird that I ended up in a conversation about the color of my shirt and how I should be more inclusive, um, based on the fact that I didn't take part in a thing that didn't have anything to do with me. So, I don't know how all of you feel about it, I'm sure a lot of you did wear your green yesterday and did get drunk and did celebrate St. Patty's Day. Um, and that's totally fine. I'm not knocking you for doing it. I'm just explaining why I don't take part in those things and why I think it's stupid to get pissy at people who don't. Um, not everyone believes the same thing and that's totally great. Um, the fact that we all don't believe the same thing is what makes us individuals and what makes us a person. Um, and you can totally do whatever you want to do that makes you happy. It makes me happy not to take part in things that have nothing to do with me. Um, yeah, so that bugged me a bit this week, so I thought that was weird. Um, I really don't understand where the drinking for St. Patty's Day thing came from. Like, it's a patron saint of Ireland. It's the, like, I don't understand how the drinking plays into that. Not that I'm against drinking. I, I don't drink myself very often. I'm not very much against it. I just, I'm a pothead. I don't drink. Um, so that's, you know, my thing. But it doesn't seem very respectful to be like, Oh, Irish are always drunk and fighting, so we're going to go get drunk and fight. That's not true at all. Like They have an entire culture and a history, and the things that they do fight for do tend to be rather serious things that, I don't know, it just seems disrespectful to me. 
Um, like we had green Kool-Aid at work um, with no irony served with it. It was funny. Um, but yeah, it's it's odd to me. Um, if somebody could explain to me why people do that, um, why people wear green, why people get drunk when they have, are neither Irish nor Catholic, nor do they really understand the point of St. Patrick's Day. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you do, and maybe you have a reason for doing that. And if you do, please put it in the comments below. I'm always glad to hear opinions from other people. Um, it's just... I don't know, even if you can explain why people get pissed off that I did not wear green and explained my reasons as to why and they were logical. Um, maybe it was just me being a dick, but maybe it's the fact that what I said was true and it then made them think about themselves and that could be a bit hard for some people, I guess. Um, but I really encourage it. I really encourage people to think about why you do the things you do. Don't just follow the herd and go, oh, it's this particular day, I'm supposed to get drunk and wear green. Because all of those people are getting drunk and wearing green. Think about why you actually do what you're doing. Because you're inevitably responsible for your own actions. And if you don't know why you're doing what you're doing, why would it, how, how is anyone else going to know what you're doing? And why you're doing it? It's why people get offended by stupid shit and... It's because when they ask the person, why did you do this thing that offended me, they have no answer. They don't know why they're doing what they're doing. And so then the person gets offended and is like, well, you're offending me for no reason. And in a lot of cases, that's stupid because you're responsible for how you respond to someone. Um, if you're offended, that's something you have to work on. That's not something the other person has to work on, by the way. Um... If someone says something or did something that offended you, then that's on you to work out why it offended you and why you care. If it's someone you don't know, who you don't hang out with, who's random on the internet, who did has no impact on your inner circle of, you know, goodness and well-being, who the fuck cares what they said? Who cares what color they're wearing? If you want to wear pink every Wednesday and drink pina coladas, that's totally fine. If somebody else tells you they don't do that for X, Y, Z reason, that doesn't in some way mean you can't continue to wear pink on Wednesdays and drink pina coladas. It's stupid. That's so stupid. Uh, to make that person feel bad because they don't believe what you believe is really, really dumb. And it says more about you than it says about the person who's doing not doing the thing that you want them to do. If you want somebody to do something, you have to explain to them why you want them to do that. If you don't have a good reason why you want them to do that, then don't make them do the thing they don't want to do. Yeah, so St. Patty's Day. <laughs> that is today, and there's a difference between Patty and Patty. I didn't know that until the other day, because uh, again, I didn't look it up. Um, if you want to know the difference between Patty and Paddy, uh, Google it. It's not hard to find. You need to take responsibility for your own learning. I can give you tidbits. It's not, I'm not a teacher. I'm just a chick from Canada who spouts off on YouTube all the time. Um, and not even really all the time. Um, I'm making a go of trying to do this weekly and come up with things to talk about. And I went this week from trigger warnings to suicide to yesterday St. Patty's Day pissed me off. So I uh, here I am talking to the St. Patty's Day without a leg of makeup on because it's skincare day and we don't mess with the skin with makeup on skincare day and I this color that I'm trying to work out how to get worked out because some of our colors through lip scents tend to react differently than others and this one's a little patchy so I'm trying to work that out um, for a client of mine which is awesome but yeah no, no makeup other than this strip right here <laughs> um, but yeah if you guys have a topic that you'd like me to discuss please feel free to pop it in the box down below um, it's not always going to be me ranting about holidays that I don't take part in. Uh, yeah, as an atheist, there's a lot of those. I, I do Ronnie Mist. Um, I, that's the holiday I do. Um, I'm a Ronnieist. I believe in me. If I want something done, I tell me, and occasionally it gets done. Um, <laughs> so the way Ronnie Mist works is any month in which you have an extra bonus pay so like normally you get two pays a month right if you get paid bi-weekly the ones that you get three pays a month those are Ronnie Miss months 
and it is your obligation at that point as a Ronniest to take part in the Ronniest festivities. And what that entails is getting inebriated beyond belief, whether your choice is pot or LSD or <laughs> I'm not advocating LSD, but you know, if that's your thing, or alcohol or whatever. Um, get wreck drunk or high as a kite or whatever you want to do. And then you go online shopping and you buy yourself a bunch of presents. And then for the next three to five business days, you get random presents and you have no idea what's in the boxes. And it's great because it's stuff you want. And <laughs> some cases you get some really interesting things that you didn't know you wanted. And then you get them and you're like, oh, this is perfect. Um, I got a whole new set of dishes that way. Um, <laughs> uh, but Ronnie Miss is a holiday that I can get behind. I, uh, I believe in me. I, I follow myself and I, I occasionally do what I ask when I pray to me that I get things done. Um, and you know, twice a year I get presents, which is awesome. Who doesn't love that? Uh, so if you're looking for something to follow, feel free to be Iraniest. Uh, we have a great time and other than that, you pretty much do what you want as long as you don't really harm a lot of people. Uh, I would say don't harm anybody, but that's not possible. You have to take responsibility for your actions and some of your actions are going to hurt people. Um, I'm sure some of these conversations I'm going to have on Saturdays are going to hurt some people. Um, I would like to say I'm sorry, but in most cases, again, it comes back to if something I said hurt you, it's probably more to do with the way you feel about that topic than it is anything I had to say. And you really should take some time to real, really reflect on why that bothers you. Um, I will never maliciously go after somebody on the YouTube channel and be like, this person is this and I'm doing this to hurt them raw. I'm here to tell my story. We're going to talk about topics like suicide and, and, you know, the death penalty and things like this. Things I have some rather passionate opinions on and you're not always going to agree with me. And that's completely fine. If you don't agree with me, you can feel free to tell me that in the comments below if you feel the need to. Or take some self-reflection and, and really find out why what I said bothered you. Um, if you if something I said bothered you personally and it feels like I personally attacked you as opposed to talking about an idea, please feel free to PM me. I, I try and choose my words very carefully when I'm talking about serious topics. Uh, today is sort of off the cuff because it's St. Patty's Day. It's... Unless you're Irish and Catholic and very offended by the fact that a bunch of people take part in a holiday they don't understand then I don't really see why this had to be scripted. Um, but the, the talk about trigger warnings and suicide and feminism and all of that stuff, those are things that I'm going to definitely put some time into scripting, at least some key points so I get on track because I tend to babble all over the place. Um, if, again, there is a topic you want me to discuss, please feel free to put it in the box below. I am always looking for suggestions and I'm open to talking about anything. So... Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date. You can hit the bell button to let you know when I am putting out new stuff. But we're going to aim for every Saturday. So, until next Saturday, y'all. Have a great St. Patrick's Day if that's your thing. If it's just another Saturday for you, well then, have a great Saturday. Bye, guys. See ya!